Hello friends, welcome to Power BI World. In today's video, we will see how to work with leads in Power BI Desktop. We will also see and learn how to implement the different ways of creating and working with leads in Power BI. So let's get started. So we all know that the date plays an important part in doing any kind of analysis or creating any reports or dashboards in business analytics. Okay, so let me give you an example. What I mean here is we have a sales table which gives us the sales target, which gives us the sales profit along with the date of sale. Okay, so now what we want to do here is we need to analyze the profit. Okay, the sales profit like what was the profit in a month, what was the profit in an year, the day wise profit, month wise profit, so on and so forth basis on the sales table that we have okay so let's go to the power bi desktop and see how we can work with dates in power bi let's go to power bi desktop okay so now we are into power bi desktop and in order to make any changes i have to go to power query editor so to go to power query editor i have to go to transform data and click on transform data so you can see we are into power query editor now and now we can make any kind of changes that we want in our power bi desktop okay so we will be using the same table that we used in our previous example in our previous video we have a table one and we will be using extract date column to play and see how we can work with dates so to start with what i'll do is i will just create a duplicate table of this table so that the main table there should not be any changes into the main table so let's create a duplicate table here so to, to do so what we have to do is just right click and you have an option as duplicate so just click on duplicate so if you see you have a table one which is your original table and you have table one into bracket two which is your duplicate table so you can see a duplicate call a duplicate table has been created so if you want to rename this table you can just right click and go to rename and rename this table or if you want to keep the name same as it is you can keep that the way you want okay so let's see how we can work with dates in power bi so i'll remove the other columns and i will just keep a column which says extract dates so right click on this and you get an option as remove other columns so what this will do is it will remove other column except your date columns okay so you can see here i have removed other columns from the duplicate table that we have created all right so now let's see how we can make changes to the dates okay so to do so we can do it in two ways one you can do it from the transform tab which you can see here the other one is you can do it from add column tab which is here so you must be thinking what is the difference between both so let me explain you the difference between transform tab and the add column tab so if we go to transform tab and make the changes the changes will be applied to this column itself okay whereas if we go to the add column tab the changes will be applied to this column however there will be a new column added as a result of the changes that we are doing so that is the difference between transform tab and the add column tab okay so i will be using add column to see how we can work with dates in power bi okay so i clicked on add columns and if i go to this option where you see from date and time it's a date so what we can do is click on date and you will get options to work with your dates however as of now it's just giving you an option to parse so what will happen here is create a new column containing the date value passed from the text in the selected column so now we have only one column which is extract dates and if i click on parse what will happen here is it will create a new column with the same date so why it has created the same date why it has passed the same column it's because the date format that we have here is 
is in text at the date format that we have here is in date format okay so this is a text format and this is purely a date format so that is the reason why you were not getting any option to work with your dates okay so let me delete this column let me remove the this column okay and let me convert this column from text to a date format so now this has been converted into a date format let's see what all options i get when i click on date so you see you get options like you can convert this date into age that you can convert this into only dates you have option of converting this date into year month quarter week day and so on okay so let's see let's create an year so if i go to year it gives me three options one is your year start of the year and end of the year so if i click on year what will happen is it will create a new column which will say as year so it's only creating year from the date that we have from this date column okay so the year that is showing here is only 2020 okay if i again select this column if i go to date and i select year it has two options more which is one is start of the year and end of the year so basically what this means is if i click on start of the year it will give me a date it will give me a year from 1st january 2020 similarly if i create end of the year it will give me 31st of december 2020 okay so that's this is the difference between year start of the year and end of the year so if you want to see this example if i click on start of the year it's giving me as 1st of january 2020 similarly if i go and click on end of the year it will give me 31st of december 2020 okay so this is the options wherein you can use to uh, create the date the way you want okay so for now i will just keep this as 2020 so if i want to create month basis this date what will i have to do is go to date again select month and click on month so what will happen here is it will give you the month number that is here okay so as of now it is showing as month 4 so you got only as month 4 okay if i select this if i go to date and i have the option as start of the month so it will give you as 1st of april if i go to end of month it will give you as 30th of april days in month it will give you that this month contains 30 days and name of the month so instead of number it will give you the name of that month so if you can see here it gave me the month's name okay so let's do one thing let's remove this column and just keep the month name similarly i can go and see the quarter which quarter i want so which quarter does this month of april falls in it will give me the quarter of that year so it will be like if i click on quarter of the year it gives me that it is the second quarter so if you if you would have noticed it is giving an option as quarter of the year so once your year start in the month of jan till 31st it becomes your first quarter and from april onwards april till may april till june sorry it gives you the second quarter so on and so forth okay similarly again start of the quarter which will give you the month from where this quarter is starting end of the quarter which will give you the month which where the uh, this quarter the second quarter will end so this is how you can play with your uh, dates in power bi similarly if i want to include week which week it is so if i click on week of year it will give me the week of the year so first april will first of april or the week comes in uh, the week number is 14 if we, if we look in the month of april if i select week of month so it will give me as first week of month so it's giving me first and second week of month so if you see 6th of april starts with the second week in month of april okay so this is how you can have the dates you can work with dates similarly 
I have other options with this start of the week it will give you the date from when this week starts end of the week will give you when the week ends for this particular day okay similarly we have an option for day it will give you the day of that particular uh, month so it will be like first day second day third day and so on and so forth so you can see here this is this date it is just giving you the uh, day of that particular month okay uh, similarly we have day of the week day of the year so which day of the week it comes it gives me the second day of the week so on and so forth so this is how you can have an options to play with your dates you can deep dive into the date formats in power bi so what i like about this date working with dates in power bi is if if i want to know which day of that week is i can get that details by just clicking on date going to day and name of the day so it gives me it gives me that which day of that week this particular date belongs to so if you see first of april belongs to wednesday then we have thursday friday so on and so forth okay so this is the best option what i like about dates in power bi so this is the very simple way to work with your dates in power bi if you don't want to work with this there is another way to do it by using the dax expressions into power bi now what is dax expression we will definitely cover in this video series so you will come to know what dax expression is however for now this is what and this is how you can work with your dates into power bi so yeah that's all about in this video hope you like this video Please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.